danger of this. He's reaching. You see how I withdraw back a little bit? He may get it, but it's going to be easy for me to peel it, and then I set my power hand right here. <laughs> Sometimes I, I get to thinking we're back at the Olympic Center or something. <laughs> uh, I don't fly. Anyway, that's going to be my plane hand. This is my uh, power hand right here. There's a right in my power hand. I want to set it uh, to generate power for the throw. But the other hand, the sleeve grip, is he's reaching. You see how I withdraw back a little bit? He may get it, but it's going to be easy for me to peel it, and then I set my power hand right here. Now, I'm dominating the sleeve grip right now. It's very difficult, especially if I deny him space, for him to turn, especially if I lean on turn throw right side. No, the right, other right side. There you go. Very difficult for him to throw right forward. Very difficult for him to throw Kochigari. Oh, Sotogari, forget about it. As long as I dominate this and pull it into my stomach. So that's right off the grip. So I bow, I come out, I retract this hand, this shoulder a little bit, peel that down. Here. All I'm doing there, if he does get a hold, is the heel of my hand here and striking and arching with my hips. Steve Cohen arched with his hips simultaneously. Pull this into my belly, set my power here, okay? Now all my right side stuff is ready to go. See? Some people pull backwards right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Boom, right? When they're tugging to get back out of it, throw them that direction, okay? Very difficult. Osotogari here, with both of us having our power hands set, he has a sleeve grip, I have a sleeve grip. This is 50-50. If I'm super explosive, stronger, more explosive than him, I may throw him. But 50-50 is unacceptable odds. So I'm gonna peel this down. This is more like 80-20 right here. So let's say I want my initial attack is a like a hopping Osoto, right hook, hop, hop, hop. But see where this is? He's not controlling my head. If he's not controlling my head, he has difficulty throwing me with those soda guard. If I step in, we're both, well that, but let's just talk about El Soto itself. No, just stay. This is 50-50. You know, he can throw me, I can throw him. You know, who's gonna win? I don't know, you know? Now, here, where I peel this down, lean on it, this is like at least 80-20 my favor, and given my physical superiority in you now, <laughs> it'd be higher. But anyway, alright, right. so let's, let's say once he gets this, so the first one was right off the bow, my shoulder is back, I might be able to intercept this, right here, climb, get the grip, okay, and then I'll soda. So the way we'll set this up is right here. And this is right up to the bow. He's going to reach. I'm going to intercept it. Peel it down. Lean on it. And then from here, I would like to do a hopping Osoto. So if you catch it, hop, hop, hop. Right there. Okay? Don't roll over him. Okay? I'm a fat dude. I don't want to land on Derek. So that'll be number one. Number two, he gets the game. All right, not great, but even if he's gripping up here, that's all right. So I'm still gonna do this motion with the heel of my hand. My right hand's gonna come across. I'm gonna hit, arch my stomach forward. All three of those movements are simultaneous. I don't wanna go one, two, three. That divides all the power. You want those three things to be concentrated into one movement. So. What do we call this? Peeling the grip? Is that what you call it? We always call it the sleeve grip. Peel. Yeah, peel. Yeah, peel. peel. Yeah, peel off. Yeah. Okay, with the heel of my hand, same time I'm going to hit and I'm going to arch a little bit. So here, pull it into your gut. Ha, hook. Right there. Okay, got it? What's working? In other words, the hand that's controlling our head, we don't want him to be able to set that. Not necessarily the head. He can be grabbing a belt over the top, whatever. But I want to control that power hand. That's the hand that generates the majority of his power. So I'm peeling that. And let's say he kills my power hand. Peel my hand. Oh crap, he gets it down. 
Okay, I gotta start circling right here. And I'm gonna start climbing. That's hard to see. So let's say he kills okay, my right hand. Let me, let me go. He feels my hand, right? He starts to get it in his sleeve. He starts to pull it in. Pull it in. So I've got a circle right here. Let me see. Let me see. Grab tight. Let me see. Drop this for a second. Okay, he's got me tight. Tighten up right there. You can't see that when we're using two hands. So two hands, one hand. Before he pulls it into his stomach and leans on it, you can all see. I have circled that hand like jujitsu or something, right? And I'm against his wrist, but I'm gonna use this lapel and start climbing it. Pretty soon he's gonna relax, let go. Now I can throw a tie to touch. You see? Or sail naggy. You available there? Yeah. Yeah. Come here a second. This is what we're doing. So Mike peels me right here. Now, I don't throw sail naggy, that's one of the or tie touch, really. So he's got this grip. He's going to pull it into his belly. So i got to circle and put pressure on his wrist. It's like some wrist lock, like some jiu-jitsu wrist, wrist lock. Sometimes I'll use two hands like that. So he's peeled it. He's beat my power hand. I can't throw a soto. I can't throw a forward throw. If he pulls it into his side and leans on it, things are real bleak. I can try sasai or some weird uh, leg shot. You know, high crotch, something I might try, but I can't do my standard judo. He's killed 80% of my judo by killing this hand. Think about it, you're right. If this hand's in here, you want to try to attack those soda or a forward throw? I, Not hit. But I can't throw him with a hip throw right now. There's no way, right? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I, I get to think we're back at the Olympic Center or something. Uh, I don't fly. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to circle this hand. Now, watch this. I start climbing the lapel. He let go. That's when I'm going to throw my forward throw. When he's only got one hand on me, right? So, Derek, let's have you stand. In, then you look at peace, you look at rest. Uh, you're not going to say yeah, yeah. so you can see. Playing. Just so you guys can see, I don't care. Man, I hate to interrupt your peace, you know. You just look totally at peace. I thought you were chanting ohms or something. You know? Yeah, yeah, so he's using Osoto. Now let's do it with a forward throw. So you're right here. He kills your power hand. Look, guys. You see this here? Throw me right side forward. Yeah. No, really. Throw me. No, throw. Yeah. He can't throw me. He tried to switch to Osoto to see. He switched to Osoto. But you can't really. You know, I'm expecting that. As long as I'm killing this right hand for Osoto Gary to work, he's got to control the head. If you're heavyweight, it's right here. If you're lighter, if you're shorter, it's your fist up under the jaw. I mean, without that, with my hand down here, even though I weigh 250 pounds almost, I'm not going to throw Mike or Derek either one. i got to have that hand set. So forward throw. Well, I think more people see you here. So Mike's starting to get to sleep, but Derek's going to circle. He's going to climb the opposite lapel. Keep climbing, keep climbing. Minute he lets go, tie a touch. Go. He just threw a guy as he was re-gripping. This Mike realized, oh, he's got me in my grip. He's throwing a guy with one hand. Mike's going to eventually release. That's it. You see? And you're catching him as he's trying to re-grip. you got to take advantage of those moments in your judo. Those little brief windows of opportunity fraction of a second when he's re-gripping. Then you're throwing a one-armed guy. Right? Again, that's beautiful. It circles. Climbs the opposite lapel. Okay. Grab somebody else and do it. Anybody. Step up. Okay. Somebody. Oh, I see. Uh, 
Ben needs to experience this. I want you to feel what the wrist feels like, right? Feel what the wrist feels like. Do you see? And if he keeps it there, here's his wrist getting jujitsu. <laughs> huh? It break. Yeah, it's yeah. close. I don't know if I can't say it's going to break. I know it's not going to feel good. <laughs> yeah, who else? Come on, guys. Feel this. You actually got to feel it because it's very difficult. These are subtle things that are very difficult to see. <laughs> you really got it. Eric didn't like it. Imagine that. Mine's a little different. Okay, uh, you know, right now with a couple new body parts, I don't move so well. So I'm going to start circling, right? If I have to, I'm going to use two hands. Did you see what happened to his wrist? But I'm not in this to break his sleeve grip only and stop and gloat over my great sleeve grip break, right? I don't get points for breaking his sleeve grip. So I'm going to circle. If I need two hands, I raise up and I cross grip. Grab. Right here, see? Let's look at that. That's how I deal with it. Alright? So he's peeling. Oh crap, I start circling. And no, let's hold that moment so they can see. Right here. What I can do is take this left hand that I'm checking his arm with right now. I'm gonna come across and hit with my thumb like this. Why don't I go like that? Because his sleeve hangs down. So when I hit, my fingers are gonna grab. So I'm right here, I hit, I grab, I pull it across, I grab and tight. There we go. See? And man, you got that arm across, he can't post his arm to save himself. I think your chances are 80-90% you're gonna throw him. If you don't, he's in a bad way. I don't believe you're gonna get countered. Very difficult to counter with that space taken up like that. I think for some of you taller guys, you might like my way better. So one more time, he's got it. I circle. So I circle. I come across. I pull it here. I go around. You notice there's no space here. I'm moving his knee, but I'm not moving him here. I cut him right here. There's no space. You know, so that when I turn, I get that momentum going. He's going to go. Because he's tight to me, right? So, okay, let's try it. One guy, then as soon as you're ready, take it to the crash pad. Try that. If you're shorter, oh, uh, another way, just circle and go straight into my front and I get safe. Even if I'm hanging on, my arm is across. And who, uh, come on now. Come on now. Or touch. He's going to kill Derek's right arm sleeve grip. Derek, set your left hand wherever you want it. Wherever you want it, your left hand. Hit circle, and he's going to go straight up into his pawn soon. I can see Mike's arm is trapped in between. But we train the point of there's a million of these. And I'll show you one against left versus right in a second. You know, the elbow over. Uh, we'll, we'll do a couple against opposite stance that you can use. You only need two or three things for righties, two or three things for lefties, and a cross grip series. Then you're set for life. You know? I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff you may add, but you've got a solid basis for grip fighting. So look at it again. This one for the shorter guys, generally. Salonagi guys. Sumo boy, this is for you. There you go. One more time. I was talking to Sumo Boy and he missed it. Okay, so he circles, he goes, he doesn't stop. Even if Mike is hanging on, his arm is here, it doesn't matter. You, he can still get his arm under and throw forward. All right, now let's look at, uh, let's see, what can we do? Tayatosh, where you climb the opposite, but attack Tayatosh from, so climb the opposite lapel. So we're going to circle your hand, climb the opposite lapel. Yeah, and if he releases his grip to re-grip, throw Tatoch. So, circle me. I've killed this arm, okay? You're climbing the opposite of the pedal. I don't know where it goes, so right here. 
So, yeah, yeah, don't let go. Just there, there keep go. where you were. Yeah, there you go, and I'm gone. Can you see this stuff? I can. Well, you're a genius. But, uh, the hand that's controlling our head, we don't want him to be able to set that. Not necessarily that. He can be grabbing a belt over the top, whatever. But I want to control that power hand. That's the hand that generates the majority of his power. So I'm peeling that. And let's say he kills my power hand. You peel my hand. Oh, crap. He gets it down. OK, I've got to start circling right here. And I'm going to start climbing. That's hard to see. So see that when we're using two hands. So two hands, one hand. Before he pulls it into his stomach and leans on it, you all see. I got to circle that hand like jujitsu or something, right? And I'm against his wrist. But I'm going to use this lapel and start climbing it. Pretty soon he's going to let go. Now I can throw a tie to touch. You see? Or sail on Humility there? Yeah. Come here a second. This is what we're doing. So Mike peels me right here. Now, I don't throw Sanagi, that's one of the or tatoch, really. So he's got this grip. He's gonna pull it into his belt. So I gotta circle and put pressure on his wrist. It's like some wrist lock, like some jiu-jitsu rest wrist lock. Sometimes I'll use two hands like that. So he's peeled it, he's beat my power hand. I can't throw a soto, I can't throw forward throw. If he pulls it into his side and leans on it, things are real bleak. I can try Sasai or some weird uh, leg shot, you know, high crotch, something I might try, but I can't do my standard judo. He's killed 80% of my judo by killing this hand. Think about it, you're right. If this hand's in here, do you want to try to attack Osotogari or a forward throw? I'm going to circle this hand. Now, watch this. I start climbing the lapel, and he let go. That's when I'm going to throw my forward throw. When he's only got one hand on me, right? Yeah, yeah, good. So he's using Osoto. Now let's do it with a forward throw. So you're right here. He kills your power hand. Look, guys, you see this here? Throw me right side forward. Yeah, no, really, throw me. No, throw. Yeah. You can't throw me, you try to switch yeah. to Osoto to see yeah. He switched to Osoto, but you can't really, you know, I'm expecting that. As long as I'm killing this right hand, for Osoto Gary to work, he's got to control the head. If you're heavyweighted right here. If you're lighter, if you're shorter, it's your fist up under the jaw. I mean, without that, with my hand down here, even though I weigh 200, pounds almost. I'm not going to throw Mike or Derek either one. i got to have that hand set. So forward throw. Well, I think more people will see you here. So Mike's starting to get the sleep but Derek's going to circle. He's going to climb the opposite lapel. Keep climbing, keep climbing. The minute he lets go, tie a touch. Go. He just threw a guy as he was really gripping. Because Mike realized, oh, he's got me in my grip. He's throwing a guy with one hand. Mike's going to eventually release. That's it. You see? And you're catching him as he's trying to regrip. You've got to take advantage of those moments in your judo, those little brief windows of opportunity, fraction of a second when he's regripping. Then you're throwing a one arm guy. Right? Again, that's beautiful. It circles. Climbs the opposite lapel. Okay, grab somebody else and do it. Anybody, step up. Okay. Somebody. Again, needs to experience this. I want you to feel what the wrist feels like, right? Feel what the wrist feels like. Do you see? And if he keeps it there, here's his wrist getting jujitsu. Huh? Break. Yeah, it's close. I don't know. If, I can't say it's going to break. I know it's not going to feel good. Yeah, who else? Come on, guys. Feel this. You actually got to feel it because it's very difficult. These are subtle things that are very difficult to see. You really got it. Eric didn't like it. Imagine that. Mine's a little different. Okay, 
uh, you know, right now with a couple new body parts, I don't move so well. So I'm going to start circling, right? If I have to, I'm going to use two hands. Did you see what happened to his wrist? But I'm not in this to break his sleeve grip only and stop and float over my great sleeve grip break, right? I don't get points for breaking his sleeve grip. So I'm going to circle. If I need two hands, I raise up and I cross grip. Grab. Right here, see? Let's look at that. That's how I deal with it, all right? So he's peeling. Oh, crap. I start circling. And no, let's hold that moment so they can see. Right here, what I can do is take this left hand that I'm checking his arm with right now. I'm going to come across and hit with my thumb like this. Why don't I go like that? Because his sleeve hangs down. So when I hit, my fingers are going to grab. So I'm right here. I hit, I grab, I pull it across, I grab and play. Here we go. See? And man, you've got that arm across. He can't post his arm to save himself. I think your chances are 80, 90 percent you're going to throw him. If you don't, he's in a bad way. I don't believe you're going to get countered. Very difficult to counter with that space taken up like that. I think for some of you taller guys, you might like my way better. So one more time, he's got it. I circle. So I circle. I come across. I pull it here. I go around. You notice there's no space here. I'm moving his knee, but I'm not moving him here. I tell me right here. There's no space. You know, so that when I turn, I get that momentum going. He's going to go because he's tight to me, right? So, okay, let's try it. One guy, but as soon as you're ready, take it to the crash pad. Try that. If you're shorter, oh, uh, another way, just circle and go straight into the front seal and I get safe. Even if I'm hanging on, my arm is across. And who, uh, come on now. Keep on He's going to kill Derek's right arm sleeve grip. Derek, set your left hand wherever you want it. Wherever you want it, your left. Circle. And he's going to go straight up and we pawn to an eye. You see, Mike's arm is trapped in between. But we train the point of, there's a million of these. And I'll show you one against left versus right in a second. You know, the elbow over. Uh, we'll, we'll do a couple against opposite stance that you can use. You only need two or three things for righties, two or three things for lefties, and a cross grip series. Then you're set for life. You know? I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff you may add, but you've got a solid basis for grip fighting. So look at it again. This one for the shorter guys, generally. Salonagi guys, sumo boy, this is for you. There you go. One more time. I was talking to sumo boy and he missed it. Good. So he circles, he goes. He doesn't stop. Even if Mike is hanging on, his arm is here, it doesn't matter. You, he can still get his arm under and throw forward. All right, now let's look at, uh, let's see. What can we do? Tayatosh, where you climb the opposite, but attack Tayatosh from So climb the opposite lapel. So you're going to circle your hand. Climb the opposite lapel. Yeah. And if he releases his grip to re grip, throw Tayatosh. So circle me. I've killed this arm. Okay? You're climbing the opposite lapel. I don't go as we go. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, don't let go. Just here. Keep where you were. Yeah, there you go, and I'm gone. 